NYC Chairperson Mandela Kapere held an exclusive interview with NBC News, speaking extensively on matters affecting the country's youth. In the process, Kapere implored local authorities and government divisions to engage more in youth-centered activities and so encourage the youth to participate at local government level. Um, and I think it, it is actually critical and vital that we continue to engage young people both at the local level, at the regional level and at the national level, uh, particularly at local authority level. We want local authorities to do more, to establish formal structures uh, to engage young people. Uh, structures can be things such as, uh, such as uh, junior town councils, it can be youth advisory committees. Kapere says the biggest challenge facing young Namibians is the sustainability of youth programs, adding that to improve the situation, all organizations have to work together. So we find that there are very, very few organizations um, that actually have the means to be able to, to assist and to carry out youth development programs. Um, almost um, two, two thirds of the organizations that we have assessed they have not passed the assessment criteria in terms of being viable and sustainable, either in terms of skilling or either in terms of logistics around the activities that they do. Um, uh, so sustainability of youth organizations is, is a major challenge that we, want to, uh, that we want to address. He says the National Youth Council will organize a dialogue on policy with all representatives from tertiary institutions and with the government to discuss barriers affecting education, health and other youth welfare issues. Namibia is credited with good progress in promoting youth participation and allowing young people to air their voices in decision making. The country is ranked 9th and 41st in the world, respectively, in terms of youth political and civic participation. For NBC News, Franklin Munigirwa, Vantuk.